All right, I figured I couldn't miss out on this opportunity to have a little bit of fun. So I just watched this video on YouTube dealing with uh, New World Order, the end time, prophecy, blah, 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 blah. And it came from a, uh, a Christian perspective. So I was dealing with, you know, Satan is behind this. You may have some things about Obama being a part of, of uh, Satan and what the, they did as part with the, the Yes We Can um, chant, and that actually is saying, is, um, if you do, I'm not sure what they're doing, but if you, if you change the, the the speed, the tone, something, supposedly, act, actually what was being said was, thank you, Satan. And so they were showing how, actually, that's, what it, that's what's being said. So when Obama was chanting, yes, we can, yes, we can, and getting the audience to chant it, they was all actually saying, thank you, Satan, thank you, Satan. It was actually sort of funny. So so then they did a thing about, you know, they showing, you know, this, you know, this the same thing, the horns from Satan uh, uh, in different situations. Some of you probably seen it who watch videos dealing with the Illuminati and this and that and how they'll point out certain people like they show Bush doing it, throwing up the horns, Obama doing it, some other folks. So I get done watching this and I'm sitting here watching a basketball game on TV and something happens <laughs> that that's that's funny, coincidental or not or is actually even more indicative of what is going on with Satan ruling this world and what's happening. So the the game is between Villanova and Marquette, right? And it's doing it's it's a timeout. Now I want you to watch what this referee does. Alright, I'm gonna play it for you. Well but nonetheless I think they've got to You see that? You see that? So the ref comes and he puts up the horns. Well, you could say, well, he's just putting up two fingers. But no, no. We have, we have to look deeply into this. The ref came over to the team, the Villanova team, and threw up the horns. So he threw up Satan. All right. But who is Villanova? What is the school of Villanova? Well, if you look up Villanova, Villanova, the school, all right, is a private university. And it's named for St. Thomas of Villanova. Right? The school is the old, oldest Catholic university. So, Catholicism. Um, St. Thomas of Villanova was a preacher, ascetic, and writer. And was a friar or of the Order of St. Augustine. Now, the Order of St. Augustine is a Catholic religious order. Which also, with, which although more ancient, was formally created in the 13th century and combined of several previous Augustinian aromatical, aromatical orders into one. In its establishment, in its current form, it was shaped as a mendicant order, one of the four great orders which followed the way of life. The order has done much to extend the influence of the church to propagate the Roman Catholic faith and to advance, lear advance learning. The order has, in particular, spread internationally the veneration of the Virgin Mary under the title of Our Lady of Good Counsel. So don't you see? Don't you see what's going on? All right. So this, this school is stemming on Virgin Mary, Jesus Christ. So this referee is obviously part of one of, is one of many Satan's minions who's come in to put up Satan's powers over the school, hoping that, because Villanova is trying to come back in his game, all right? But obviously, Satan is trying to keep keep down Villanova from, from advancing and prospering and, and, and winning his game. Satan has his hands in many dealings and keeping down the powers of God. So I just watched this video on YouTube that was dealing with the end times, the new world order, with uh, RFI, RFID chipping, 
um, things of that nature. And it's coming from a Christian perspective and how you have to always, we need to be aware of how prophecy is coming true because Satan is a, uh, has his hands in so many, many many dealings of this world and taking over. And so, you know, the time, the end time is near. Um, and so it has, it, you know, it has some things, you know, dealing with uh, Obama's being part of it. Um, it, even, it even went back to back in the 80s when, when the big thing was playing the records in reverse. And, it, and so it showed a clip um, and and I guess it was a preacher, and he did that, and doing the um, doing the Highway to Heaven record, and he's playing it back, and it was talking about Satan, this and that. So it, it brought some back some old stuff, uh, and then eventually got to uh, like I said, since the speaking of Satan, throwing up the horns, and it showed how Obama does it. You know, has done it on several occasions, and, and and you can find plenty of videos here on YouTube where it'll, it'll show people uh different people doing it um i think i've seen uh jay-z supposedly had done it i think kanye supposedly had done it um people of high stature uh entertainers people in high places and you know suppose they've gotten there because of them worshiping date worshiping they worshiping satan and, and whatnot so i was watching this basketball game between villanova and marquette and something interesting occurred that um was either quite coincidental or was really telling about the power of Satan and his involvement in dealings in, in everyday our, in, in our everyday life. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna watch the referee as he as he comes into screen. Going over the club, but nonetheless, I think they've got it. If they don't pull this one out, they've got it. I see that. See that? See the horns? All right. Like I said, this is this is a game between Villanova and Marquette. All right. Now, you know, somebody can say, "Well, it's just throwing up two fingers," but we have to look. Always have to look deeply into things. You know, I always have to look beyond. You know, what you think is there, and really look deeper into what is actually there. So we look up really who Villanova is. What we come to find out is that Villanova, which is a private university, was named for St. Thomas of Villanova. It is, it's the old, oldest Catholic university, right? Now, St. Augustine, or St. Thomas, St. Thomas of Villanova was of the order of St. Augustine. St. Augustine is... One of the four great orders which follow that way of life of uh, the mendicant order it was formally created in the 13th century and combined with several previous August, Augustinian aromatical orders into one. The, the order has done much to extend the influence of the church, the church being the Catholic Church, Catholicism. To, to propagate the Roman Catholic faith and to advance learning. The order has in particular spread internationally the veneration of the Virgin Mary and the title of Our Lady of Good Counsel. And what you have to see is, and you have to remember is, we're talking about the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church Catholicism is ruled by who? The Pope. And who is the Pope? The Antichrist, all right. So it, it shows how deep Satan Satan goes in, in trying to wield his power over things. So here you here you see this ref come over to Villanova. He throws up the horns. In essence, what he's saying is, you know, basically, you know, they're gonna lose this game, you know, but stay strong, stay strong in the power of Satan, and know that Satan has your back. And in the end. Satan is going to come through and is going to rule over all else, right? Right. 